Fellow Travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, the city different. And when you come here, you start to understand why they call it that. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Santa Fe. And I'll be honest with you, this city, this city is pretty dang cool, but I gotta start with the biggest don't you need to know. And that is, don't come to Santa Fe if you do not enjoy the arts. I mean, there are tons of galleries, there are tons of theater productions, there are tons of museums to check out, there's beautiful churches, there's so many things to see and do and take in when you're here, but a lot of it is art-based. This is like one of the art meccas in the United States, and so you come here and you're gonna get art all over the place. Fantastic museums. Georgia O'Keeffe, one of the most important female artists in American history. They have a fantastic museum here dedicated to her because she painted here and lived here. The New Mexico Museum of Art, awesome to go check out. There's a Museum of International Folk Art that's here that's fantastic to check out. If you want more history and you go into the Palace of the Governors and you go to see the New Mexico Museum of History when you're here, or maybe you wanna see some artists that are really making stuff today, go head down to the Canyon Road Art District and you can see all those galleries there, all their works of art there. And it's just a really awesome thing. And you'll see artists all over the place. That's why if you don't like art, I don't know if Santa Fe is really for you. It's a pretty cool place, all right? Now my second don't for you is, don't think it's just art here in Santa Fe. This city's got some really other great things to do when you're here. We're taking a drive out tomorrow to go to Bandelier National Monument and go hiking there. This is, you can go to the Santa Fe Forest, you know, the Santa Fe National Forest that's here. You can go on you know mountain bike rides. You're doing all kinds of great stuff when you're here. But for me, one thing I wanna make sure you go check out are some of the churches when you are here. Yes, you have the Cathedral of St. Francis of Assisi, which is nice to go to. You can go to the Laredo Chapel and see the, the staircase there that a carpenter came in and built for them and never had them pay and they don't there's all these crazy histories and stories about it but you pay five bucks to go in and see it it's kind of a cool thing to check out but for me the coolest church the best church to check out is this one right here the santuario de guadalupe and in there it, the church was built in the late 1700s early 1800s and you really feel it when you go in with the artwork that's in there and the architecture and the altar in there it is really cool and what's great it's on your way to the railway district so you're going to have some fun when you go there so which is also another district that has some art stuff and some fun things to do when you are there and the train comes in there. But that's one of the things I wanna make sure you know is, you know, it's not just art, but it's mostly art, but there's some really nice stuff to see when you are here. Now, my third don't for you, since you keep walking this way, you'll get to the Rail Runner. That is the train line that goes from Santa Fe to Albuquerque. And my don't with the Rail Runner is, don't think using the Rail Runner is going to help you get from the Albuquerque Sunport Airport to here in Santa Fe. Because you'll have to take a bus or an Uber or a taxi into Albuquerque, then to get the train to come up here into Santa Fe. And the, or the, the schedule isn't really super great for travelers coming in. So what I recommend, you can either do one of the shuttles that come from the airport, you know, or you can take Uber from the airport or Lyft from the airport here to Santa Fe. It's a little over an hour to get here to Santa Fe from the Albuquerque airport. And I'm gonna say, if you're more than two people, you might as well do a Lyft or an Uber because it's gonna be the same price as taking the shuttle. So there's two or three of you, you're, you're probably better off and it'll get you here quicker. So you do have that. Now my fourth don't for you is, don't feel bad about celebrating Christmas every day of the year. Now I'm not talking about ho, 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 Merry Christmas. I'm talking about the true red and green celebration that they have here in Santa Fe, the chilies, okay? Green chilies and red chilies. And the thing is, green chili, you might get a green chili cheeseburger when you're here, or maybe you get enchiladas with green chili sauce on top or red chili sauce on top, or what they'll actually ask you, you want red, green, or Christmas. And that's how you celebrate a little Christmas every day by having the green and red chili sauce on your enchiladas, your huevos rancheros, or whatever you have when you were here. Oh my gosh, the food is so good when you are here. And the thing is, what I'm gonna give you a don't about those chili peppers is don't think that all the chili peppers are consistent in their spicy level. Like I've seen restaurants that in their menu say, we cannot guarantee that the peppers will not be too spicy. That's what they'll tell you. In general, the green is lighter or smoother than the red sauce, but there's no guarantee because you get a seed, you get a spicy one, it does happen. So watch out for your food because it could be hot, spicy, but also a little hot too physically. So 
blow on a little bit and do enjoy it when you are here. Now I do have a couple extra don'ts for the food when you are here. One, don't think it's just the fantastic enchiladas and the fantastic huevos rancheros and the fantastic burritos and stuff like that you're gonna have when you are here. Oh my gosh, the food is so good. It's to the Southwest, you know, New Mexican kind of food. There is tons of great restaurants here in Santa Fe. You have a lot of people that come from all over the world to visit Santa Fe and they've brought their cuisine. We've had great French food. We've had great Italian food. We've great, had great, you know, New American cuisine. I mean, you are going to eat really, really well when you're here and it's not just Southwest cuisine or New Mexican cuisine. And when you're looking for that, you know, when you hit the wall in the chili sauce department, the farther you go away from the plaza, the historic center, uh, you're gonna have more luck finding places that aren't just Southwest cuisine. So have a heads up for that. And I think it's important also to add that don't think that New Mexican food is the same as Tex-Mex Mexican food. There is a difference. So when you're here, you'll know that and you'll taste that and see that and you'll enjoy it. They're different. They're similar. They're like cousins. They're both fantastic. So you can't go wrong, but I just want to give you a heads up for that. Now, my next tip for you, which kind of goes along in the food category and vibing category is don't forget to get a passport. Now you're like, Mark, I already have a passport. No, no. It's not the one they stamp when you come into a country. This is a passport for the Margarita Trail. The tourism board here actually has the Margarita Trail Passport. You download an app, there's a free one, but there's a, for three bucks one you get it. And what it is, it gives you a map of like 30 some different bars with 30 different margaritas you can try. And when you go there and you order their special margarita in that bar or in that restaurant or in that pub, you get a stamp. And when you collect the stamp, they got swag for you, whether it's shirts, whether it's margarita kits, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can earn by getting all those margaritas. So do have a fun time with that. I mean, be responsible, of course, but do know that, that that is something you can do. And that kind of leads into my next note when you are here. You notice I'm talking about, you're gonna go to the rail yard district, which is back over here. Then you got the plaza, then you got the you know, Canyon Road Art District. You're gonna do a lot of walking when you're here. Also, if you're gonna go to like Bandelier National Monument or other places, you're gonna do a lot of hiking. So my next note for you is, don't forget to bring good walking shoes or hiking shoes if you're gonna be going to the mountains and stuff like that, because you will need them because there's so many things to see in Santa Fe that you're not going out this area and then go to another area and then go to another area. What you're doing is you're walking to walking to walking to walking and your dogs are gonna start barking. Your feet are gonna start hurting, okay? So have really good shoes when you do come here. And if you're gonna be going hiking, have good hiking boots for that too. If you're gonna go skiing, well, you can rent ski stuff when you do come here, so you'll be okay for that. Now, with all that walking you're gonna be doing around here in Santa Fe, you're also gonna be getting a lot of sun when you are here, and my don't for that is don't forget the sunblock and don't mess around with the altitude, okay? Santa Fe is at 7,000 feet. Now, it's not super, super high, but your first day or two, you might notice it's a little bit harder to breathe, and the alcohol and that margarita trail hits you a little bit harder than it usually does, so you do wanna be safe, and that sun at 7,000 feet is a lot stronger coming down down. And the thing is, they have over 300 days of sun a year here in Santa Fe. So that sun is going to beat down on you. Okay. So make sure you're putting on the sunblock, have a hat and stuff like that. So you can cover up and protect yourself from the sun. Okay. Going along with that, my next don't for you is don't forget to hydrate not just those margaritas, okay? Honestly, you need to drink a lot of water when you are here. A few of the hotels I've checked out when we've been here, they actually have tubs of bottled water. And they're like, hey, take some bottled water while you're walking out. Jocelyn, she's got her water bottle. We've been going around, we have refillable bottles. And so we take those around with us because you need to stay hydrated because the sun and the heat and the air, and it's really dry here, really, really dries you out. So you're notice my I'm having a tough time talking because my mouth is so dry. You wake up in the morning with all the dry mouth kind of stuff. Also, your skin, look, it's, it, it's scratching off. Yeah, your skin will start flaking and stuff like that. So make sure you're bringing enough lotion. I know Jocelyn, she used to live in the Southwest. So she actually brought double the usual amount of lotion she brings for a week long trip. And she's been using it, okay? I guess I, I probably should too. I've been hydrating with the margaritas, but also with the water during the day for those things. But I wanted to give you those safety things when you're here. Now my next don't for you is don't expect to see a young, hip crowd when you are here in Santa Fe. This is a very popular retirement location for people in the U.S. The thing is, it's a very popular for wealthy retirees here in the U.S. Like you will see million dollar homes, you will see stores with incredibly high prices and stuff like that. And you're like, wow, who can afford this? 
a lot of the retirees that come through here have quite a bit of money and you have a very much older demographic in the city. So if you're looking to go party all night long, Santa Fe is probably not going to be for you. But if you have a relaxing time and go to some cool theater productions and stuff like that, see some artwork, it's a great place to go. But just realize it's an older demographic when it's here. So don't expect tons and tons of party nightlife kind of stuff. Um, but what is nice though, the people here are super friendly and super helpful. And the thing is, I've been walking around some of the days and sometimes I've been taking pictures with my phone or I've been like looking things up and, and they'll stop and like, like in their car, they stop next to you. Hey, are you lost, man? You need some help? I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm just taking some pictures. But the people are super friendly and super helpful. So it's really nice how they really reach out to the tourists to help them. So that's really kind of cool. But the thing is, it might also upset some of you when you're here because don't lose your mind when you drive here because the driving in Santa Fe can be a bit slow, okay? And it's part of it is because there's a lot of tourists that are here. But another part of it is there's a lot of older people that are here. But also there's a lot of it because there's a lot of tourists, like I said, walking around and the people are being helpful. So you might have tourists that walk into the road. So you really have to pay attention. So if you're renting a car when you come here, don't just drive, like drive and pay attention because people will be looking like, oh, that's a cool adobe house. Or look, there's another museum. Check out this church and they'll just wander. So do have a heads up when you are here. Another don't I have for you is don't think the tourists stop. Look, there are tons and tons of festivals all year round when you're here. The Indian market is really popular. If you're in October, you should come to the International Balloon Festival. You'll probably see my mom and my dad. They come every year for it. And the thing is, there's all these festivals that go around. Christmas time here is gorgeous to check out. But the thing is, is there's not really ever any low season. There's like a slow week or two here and there. And that means don't forget to book accommodation early because the prices go up. And the thing is you book earlier, you get a guaranteed spot, probably a lower price. So you do want to be careful with that or, or at least pay attention with that. And that kind of leans into my next down is don't expect coming to Santa Fe to be a cheap vacation. I mean, you're going to spend some money when you're here, whether it is in the food, which is fantastic, but you're going to spend some money on that. The accommodation, which has been great, but it's going to be pricey. But the shops, when you're here, you're going to see some pretty high shop prices, especially for the historic part of town. If you go farther out by, you know, Meow Wolf and all that out there, you have your usual big box stores and stuff like that. You have those things, but in the center of town, the prices are going to be really, really high, okay? Now, my next stone for you actually has to do with that Meow Wolf's House of Eternal Return. Now, I didn't mention it in the museum part of the beginning, but this is probably the most fun museum and most kind of important installation you should check out when you do come here to uh, Santa Fe. It is a super cool place. It's like a dream sequence out of a crazy movie or your psychedelic posters when you were a kid or the scary crazy scene in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory all mixed into one. It's just an awesome place to go and so don't skip on it. But the thing is it's kind of far out and my don'ts for going for going there one don't not go but don't forget, you can actually buy your tickets online so you can have a time ticket so you don't have to wait in line. We did that today, so it took some time out of our line waiting. And so aside from the don't skip kind of don't I have for you for that is, I have some actual don'ts when you're in there. One, if you are claustrophobic, don't get freaked out because there are some pretty claustrophobic spots in the museum, okay, when you are there or the House of Eternal Return. But also there's some spots that there's a lot of flashing lights. So if you have seizures or there's any kind of things that lights set you off, I just want to give you a heads up for that. I mean, it's a cool experience. It's like part psychedelic, poster part psycho the movie part you know crazy dream part it's just a crazy crazy place to be but i do want to give you some don'ts for there because you will go there okay my next don't for you is don't forget to look up look we are in the desert and we're in high altitudes. This is perfect for stargazing. You have incredible night skies here in Santa Fe. So even when it's you're in the city, you can see some great stars. But if you go a little bit out of town, I mean, you could see the Milky Way Trail, okay? It is really, really a gorgeous place to see all the stars when you are here. If you're not a late nighter, guess what? The sunsets you see here in Santa Fe and the sunrises, but I haven't been up that early. The sunsets are just gorgeous. So don't miss those either, okay, when you are here. Now, another don't I have for you when you do come here is don't forget to go do some of the day trips out of town. I mentioned them a little bit before, but yeah, Bandelier National Monument, you can go hiking there, but there's other hiking trails around here. Yes, you can go to Los Alamos and see the history that's there. Head down to Albuquerque and check those things out. There's a lot of biking and hiking around the area because though it's like an older demographic in the center with the tourism, once you get out of the center, there's a lot of outdoorsy stuff you can do when you are here and people are running and biking and all kinds of hiking stuff like that. So it's not like it's all old tourists that are here. There's all kinds of stuff. You just got to get out of that plaza center part, okay? 
And if I talk about the Plaza Star Report, I think there's an important thing I need to warn you about. That is, don't forget to duck when you go into some of the stores and shops and, and, and look around near the plaza because this is the second oldest city in the United States, okay? And so a lot of these buildings are very old and they had lower thresholds or lower doorways. So I've bonked my head a few times. So make sure, don't forget to duck a few times when you're going around. Now, my last note for you in Santa Fe is don't get turquoised out. Look, the, what I'm talking about here is you're gonna see a lot of galleries and a lot of shops here in the center of town. And after a while, all of the shops start to blur together. You're like, oh, silver, turquoise, some leather, silver, more turquoise, more jewelry. Art, and it kind of like blurs together and it can be a bit much. The thing is the whole city isn't like that. Go explore a bit more and you won't just get over turquoised. Now you can pick up some turquoise. There's some really nice jewelry you can get when you're here. I know Jocelyn got a really nice set of earrings and a necklace when you're here, you can have that, but just know, the shops will start to blur together after a while, so do have a heads up for that. So I hope that helped you know a little bit more about what you should know before you come here to Santa Fe so you can enjoy it as much as we have. If you want to learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you enjoy places like Santa Fe, hit that subscribe button. We put out travel videos talking about the don'ts of travel, culture socks, what you should know before you go, five love and hates, travel tips on our website at waltersworld.com and here on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook, Instagram, all kinds of places. I want to say a special thank you to all our patrons on Patreon who make videos like this possible. If you want to figure out how you can help us keep making honest travel videos, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. Bye from Santa Fe.